pick from our daily life to reflect on ourselves how how much necessary it is i don't think that you need any breaks to reflect it has to be an ongoing process for example this talk about detoxing from social media okay it never worked for me in fact it took me you know few hours to realize when i said okay chalo let's let me try detoxing and when i did that i realized that i had got cut off from you know all my friends all my social interactions and i started feeling more depressed and you know i started feeling that i was cut off from the entire world and the environment around me okay and i did not need that because that is not me for somebody it may work Mm-hmm. somebody may think that cutting off from uh, you know detoxing or whatever you know cutting off from people or sitting silently is something that works for them it is an individual it it just works for an individual differently so i mean it's very difficult to judge or to say that there's a template for this it's just that you have to find your own way to deal with this kind of uh, mm-hmm. environment of situations or whatever you wish to call it or the pause in your life to reflect you know so you're saying yeah. that sometimes that also becomes a pressure okay of course, of course it does course. of course because yeah because see whenever we talk about pause we are like we shun everything and have a quiet time but for someone it may be a uh, very much pressurizing spending time alone uh, it may not be good Uh, for them being with people uh, some of their loved ones will be good so that's what you are saying that it becomes yes a yes. pressure yeah because see i'm a senior so i know friends who suggested try art of living try meditation try yoga but i cannot sit silent you know i'd love to say that they were thinking about my mental health and so on and so forth but if they were thinking that i'm an old now i've reached the age i'm a senior and it's time for me to start you know thinking of my you know thinking of god or thinking of meditation or going into prayer or going into <laughs> sorry it's not me i cannot t- i cannot do it but if you can and if that is that is what makes you uh, you know peaceful happy so be it you know for me silence is something i cannot i cannot live with uh, i need pressure for you yes that is the pressure for me that is something i cannot do without i cannot do without talk to people i cannot do without communicating with people i cannot do without making friends it's my biggest biggest uh, life thing i cannot do without having a thousand selfies of wherever i go my friends tell me that you know you are just every your entire social media is filled with selfies But of course it is because these are my memories. I'm not trying to show off who I have met or who I have taken a selfie with because I take selfie with everybody. The first, if, uh, the moment I meet somebody, I want to take a selfie because I want to remember that moment, that talk I had with the person, and keep it in my album as my memory. If you think that you know she's just showing off, that's your thought process. That's your thing. My thought process is simple. It makes me happy. It makes me remember. when that facebook pops it up you know in memory it triggers that 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 lovely in conversation life. that I've, exactly it triggers the conversation i've had with that celebrity or with that uh, person or with a friend or you know it reminds you and that is what makes me happy 